Alrighty. Um, back to day one, our third time through it. Anyway, it's the third day of the week. Yes, it is. Don't worry about it, guys. It's Wednesday. This is the workout we're doing. 1.3. You got it. Um, Sideline is one leg down as rows. It's warm up, guys. Take your time. Um, for the side lunges, I, I, I have a feeling this will be a common fault, so I'm going to bring it up. It's our knee position. And we take these slidey, slidey clippers off here. Um, although my feet are very sweaty, so they might slide as well. Uh, what I'm worried about is coming to one side and kind of being collapsed in. Right? We don't really want that. What it's going to do is really load up the hip. That's not what we want. We want to, I want to say load up the glute, but load up everything else. So if we come down, now the knee pushes out, right? You're going to feel a little more in your glutes and your hamstrings. The other side, right? Knee pushes out, and you're going to get a little bit of a stretch from the other leg in here. That's good. It's going to open us up. It should help. Um, kind of do two things, stretch, so strengthen us a different plane and open us up in a different plane. So when we talk about like a goblet squat or a heavy front squat or back squat, we should be a little more comfortable pushing the knees out. Hopefully that helps a few of you guys out there. Speaking of what our knees are doing, they should be pushing out a little bit on one leg deadlifts as well, right? It's the same type of movement. We need to put that a little lower. Right, when I, when I hinge down, you'll see that knee pushes out slightly, right? That's a sign of good glute activation. If you feel, moving the camera a lot, you're doing this with your knee, right? This may not be working as hard. So what, what's the fix? Well, you use your glutes. It helps to activate them before you start the movement. So just gotta give it a good squeeze. Hey, we should probably be doing the same thing as step-ups, right? Same story. Um, that knee should track over the foot or push out slightly, right? Push, it's my right leg is pushing out slightly to the right. We don't want it to cave in. Again, if you feel that wobble in the knee, it's a sign of poor glute activation. So before the movement squeeze, right? That's the big thing. Really what I wanted to talk about was on these sumo deadlifts. Right, it's a deadlift, the weight's between your legs, blah, 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 we know this. I talked a little bit about um, the band. Oh, you can make this harder out of band. Actually, it might work better there. So I've got a band, right? Just put it on my doorknob. And then I'm going to act foolish and step in the band. So. I've got some nice tension. Even when I'm down, there's still tension in the band. As I drive my hips forward, the tension increases. <clears throat> what happens in a normal deadlift is uh, the higher up we go, the less the glutes, less tension they're getting, right? Especially this very top finish of the movement, right? So the band helps keep this nice tension the whole time. So we're getting that natural tension from the weight, boom, extra tension from the band. And I'd probably want even more tension, but if I go any further, I'm going to pop my head here. Uh, so I just, all I did was off the door here, right, have the door open. I'll turn the camera for a second so you guys can see. He just, the door sideways, it's open, and I just loop the band on the, on the doorknob, right? I don't even have to tie it on, it just sits there. You could probably put this on a nice sturdy banister as well. Um, that'll that'll work, right? Cool. Um, now, is it is it necessary to use the band? Absolutely not. But if you're looking to get a little more out of the movement, um, this is a nice way to do it. The other option, if you're having trouble finagling something up, is you can set up like a good mornings, and it's going to accomplish very similar. Uh, effect. We'll go with effect. It's going to load up your glutes more. And it's going to give you a little more work at the bottom as well. Moving on to the last part. 3, 6, 9 times 12. Oh my god, so many rounds, Brendan. Get some chalk right on the floor 
it's it's gonna go quick. Three six nine twelve. Um, it's it's. It's what take a minute per round. You're done in twelve minutes, fifteen minutes. If you take a little breaks, not a big deal. Uh, three broad jumps. There's only three, so we want you working as hard as possible. So you're doing these little hops, like one, two, three. Jump as far as possible. Put some markers on the ground. Four feet, six feet, eight feet, ten feet, whatever. Aim to go as far as you can. Take your time with them. Burpee high jumps. There's that little jump on a burpee. We know our, our toes get a millimeter off the floor. I see the space there. I can fit one hair underneath. I got it, Brendan. Reach for the sky. If you're inside, touch the ceiling. You know, just try and get up as high as you can today. Um, you get a little break, nine sit ups, right? 12 rounds, like I said, it'll go, it'll go quick. It'll be fun. 